Yo, how's it going, boys and girls? Another Dungeons of the World. Oh, what the fuck? How did I already win? So, in this video, I'm basically just going to be talking about different YouTubers and stuff like that and my experience with them. So, yeah, most of the YouTubers I've actually met throughout the entirety of switching my content and everything has been, like, relatively very nice to me. And just to keep in mind, I have no issues with these people. Like, they are so nice. So, I guess the first one we can start off with is, like, Armagon, because, like, he's the my closest friend on this list. Like... Armagon's my boy, man. Like, I met the guy when he had, like, 2,000 subscribers or something like that. And, like, Armagon has been always really chill to me. And, like, I've watched the man grow so much throughout the entirety of me knowing him. Like, I still consider him, like, one of my closest friends online and on Discord and just in general. So, yeah, definitely Armagon is, like, one of the realest people I've talked to. Like, he's really, like... He doesn't really care what people think about him. Behind the scenes as well, Armagon is just, like, a really like chill guy to be around he's really easy to talk to it doesn't really matter who you are he'll, he'll, he'll just talk to you like there will be times when me and armagon would just stay up so fucking late at night and just talk about shit like it wouldn't even matter like what type of things we would talk about like it, it could go from like deep talk to talk about like life and shit we wouldn't even talk about minecraft half, half the time bro it's really nice to talk to him because then we, we could just talk about other shit as well we don't only talk about minecraft life specifically armagon is probably one of the most hardworking people i've ever seen like he's really Really motiv motivated to just make it on YouTube and everything like that. Yeah, from time to time he can be lazy and stuff like that, but for the most part he's really like hardworking. He doesn't want to stop with his YouTube grind, and I respect that highly. Like for the most part he puts a lot of effort into his videos. I'll also call him like a really extremely big brain guy. He's really fucking smart. I don't know. Like, he probably gets that a lot, but like but for the most part like he's really fucking smart, bro. I think the next person we're gonna go over to is Minute Tech, and I don't know why I feel like this about him, but like he feels like really safe to be around. If you know what I mean, like if you've ever been on a call with him, it, it feels just so safe to be around him, bro. I don't know why. He's really chill to talk to. Like it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter what you talk about. It can just go on for hours. But I feel like I I get that vibe with him. And despite not even knowing him for a long time, he, I can just tell like he's a really nice guy to talk to. He's really chill to talk to, from the times I've talked to him. So I don't know. He he seems to be the type of guy to just talk with you for no reason it doesn't really matter who you are they're kind of the same with armagon bro the interactions i've had with him are mostly very good and i mean i haven't had any bad interactions with any of these people that's not what i'm trying to say here uh, it just goes to show like most of the people you meet nowadays are actually really chill believe it or not and yeah he's also like super hard working i feel like he's he puts a lot of determination into like getting it getting big on youtube and everything and that's one thing i can definitely respect so yeah huge props to to minute tech man like he's really chill to talk to i appreciate him being like really slow with me and stuff like that I really appreciate um, Minitech for like being like really so welcoming to, for, to me. I feel like he was really welcoming to me to the, into the community and stuff like that. I didn't really expect it to be honest, but yeah, big up son, bro. So now I'm going to talk about someone that I didn't really expect to know me at first. Turtles. Like, I didn't really expect Turtles to know me before I even met him. Which was really surprising because like he, we are such in a different community. So I didn't really expect people to know me at all. And Turtles as well is actually like really funny, man. I don't know. He has great sense of humor. Like he's a really wholesome guy. I feel like everyone says that about him, but like I don't know, bro. He's really wholesome when it comes to just like being. Oh, okay. I that just happened. Yeah, again, he's like really wholesome with everyone, and he's really nice. I don't know. It was really, really surreal when I saw those people just being real people. If you know what I mean, it was it was really nice to see just how real they were. To see like these people are actually just you know. They are, they are just fucking people, if you know what I mean. Like, it was, it was, it was kind of mad. It was kind of mad. What the fuck are you doing? What's this guy doing? Crazy, bro. That was a crazy play. And also, Turtles is really easy to talk to as well. I've, I feel like it's, he's kind of the same with Meditech as well. You can just talk to him about pretty much anything, and he'll be down to just talk to you about it. So yeah, big ups to Turtles, man, for being so welcoming, man. I, I appreciate that. That's that's really nice. Now, one person I actually knew like before a lot of these other YouTubers that I'm gonna talk about is actually Cheetah. I've been talking to Cheetah for actually quite a while, for quite a while now, and there would just be times where we would just be randomly talking and stuff, stuff like that. I mean, I really appreciate that him just talking to me stuff like that for just, just because he wants to i've watched his content as well for like a little while it was really weird talking to people that i used to watch i'm not gonna lie i was kind of nervous when i was talking to the cheetah and everything not that i was like not that he was scary or anything why is this guy playing like this
Holy shit. So yeah, it was really fun. I, I appreciate Cheetah for doing that. Like, it was really, it was really nice. Big ups, Cheetah. Talking to Speckler Potato was definitely my most nervous moment, I, I guess you could say. The thing with me and Speckler Potato, we, I feel like we are quite different in sense of, like, humor and stuff like that. I don't know if, if he would agree on that, but, like, I was, I don't know. I've always been a bit nervous talking to Speckler Potato because I've known about him and, I guess, watched his content for a long time. So it was really weird talking to him, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure if he felt the same way, though. Like, maybe I was weird to talk to for him. I don't know. But, like, on a real, though, Speckler Potato as well has been really nice to me as well i was kind of shitting myself i'm not gonna lie when i recorded the collab with him spec potato as well is like a really hard working person he deserves every sort of success he's getting towards him if not even more success bro like the man is a working machine he is so hard working bro big ups to potato so one person i think you guys wouldn't really expect me to know out of this all, all of these people it's actually wembu i've actually known about wembu for a long time way before he even like completely just exploded on youtube like for real i've known the guy or known about him and everything talked to him since he did a skeppy tournament bro <laughs> the man has always been really funny to me he's really like really chill to talk to as well i feel like our like Huber, I guess it's just fucking stupid humor. I guess I don't know. Stupid humor kind of just blends in well because I have also really stupid fucking humor, and I feel like that's just, that just kind of blends well. So yeah, I've known no, I've known the guy since like 20, late, like early 2019, 2018-ish, something like that. It, it's it's been surreal seeing him just like completely blow the fuck up on youtube it's really nice but yeah like i i met him because like um wait, he was streaming like a skeppy tournament type thing i think it was for like a thousand dollars or something I, I don't i don't quite remember how much money it was for but i i saw that he was streaming the event and he was like the only person alive that i that was live so i i just started watching him and the more i watched him i kind of just enjoyed his content i never subscribed though so <laughs> i'm sorry about that one but i'm gonna subscribe now i actually started to watch like wembu quite a bit because he had these keyboard switches that that I was really interested in getting and I just wanted his like honest review on how they felt and everything like that so I just kept asking him questions in stream chat and everything like how do they feel and stuff like that and they sounded amazing but I didn't get them I didn't end up getting them because like it was something it was a lot of problems with the shipping and everything like that it was just a mess I don't know bro. but yeah I, I ended up just started watching it because like he had the switches I kind of wanted so yeah that's kind of how that played out Holy fuck. But yeah, man. Overall, Wembu is like a really chill guy. I wasn't really like that nervous when I was recording with him. Like, he was really chill with me. Like, he was like really patient with me. I, I really respect that. Because, I mean, I don't know. I feel like I can, I can be quite annoying sometimes. And the fact that he was so patient with me, I don't know. I, I really respect that from him. So, big ups, Wembu. Much love, bro. Honestly, bro, I don't even remember when I started to, to talk to Mind Mana or Straight, if you know who that is. Mind Mana has always been, like, really chill in my eyes. I have, I've never had any issues with him. I haven't had issues with any of these people, to be honest. I recently started to know him, like, to, like talked to him and stuff like that i haven't talked to him for that for that long if i'm being honest so it has been quite surreal to see him like madly grow on youtube and stuff like that he has been blowing up man for real i couldn't have been more happy to see him uh blow up man it was it's really nice my mana or stray he's like he's kind of the same as minotech like he's really n like chill or safe to be around like there would just be times where we would just be staying up late at night just talking with each other we would just talk about random stuff like like youtube and life i guess it's it's been really nice to talk to him man i i appreciate him a lot so yeah i mean all of these youtubers i'm talking about this in, in this video you should all subscribe to them they are so nice and chill so yeah they, they they deserve all the support they're getting if not more bro like they are so nice so yeah that's pretty much this entire video right now i'm gonna end it off here so thank you guys for watching this video this little rant video i guess you can call it and yeah, I hope you enjoy your day. Stay safe.